Hi, this is Mike Sinisi, and I'm here at CES 2014 with Atmel's Bob Martin. Uh, Atmel uh, put together a really fantastic setup here in the corner of, the, of, of their booth, the uh, Atmel Maker section. Can you tell me about this? Yeah, absolutely. So, again, I'm Bob Martin. I am an apps manager for Atmel, and this is my 18th CES. And I'm, although I'm heavily involved in the maker community, I'm really excited to see now the maker community have this presence at CES. Because CS was initially the finished products, and now we're bringing in the stuff that makes the stuff. And it's so cool to see this, and, and part of what we're doing here, we've got Arduino boards, we have Arduino in our booth, which you know would, would have been unheard of five years ago at CS. Yeah. It's an incredible progression in the enablement of, of the general public and, and everybody that attends CS now. One of the things we're really looking at as we tour around to uh, CES this year is um, is making going mainstream, and I think this right here is an example of exactly how true that is. So, what type of um, what type of response have you been getting over the last couple of days? Actually, absolutely outstanding. Um, people are are one surprised and pleased because a lot of the engineers that are doing our prototypes are makers themselves, obviously. We're kind of a, a breed unto our own, right? As you well know from Make Magazine. And a lot of the prototypes come out of the Arduino or the, you know, the Atmel AVR boards that we have. So they're seeing stuff that go, you know, these looks like the prototypes that were in my lab that were now in full production. And, and it's completing the cycle, I think, yeah. at, at, at CS, which is, again, I think really cool. So what type of things, um, what type of things are happening in 2014 with Atmel, uh, specifically looking at uh, making and uh, microprocessors and so forth. Anything exciting that we should be looking yeah, for? Yeah, we have some cool things coming up. Again, we're going to have a large presence at both at Maker Faire Mateo, New York. We just finished Rome. We're going to go to Rome again. We're, we got some new exciting uh, low-cost development boards that will be coming out that's going to really help extend uh, and augment the Arduino offerings that Arduino has. We're integrating more Arduino support into our development tools. And again, uh, I would love to set up even a hackathon at, at San Jose and extend that. And again, we're also going on the road. Look for a large semi-truck trailer called Atmel Tech on Tour. We're, we're going to be dropping by as many universities and any other uh, you know, hacker communities or hacker dojos that you want. I'll keep my eyes open for it, make sure that it swings by uh, Absolutely. The, the, yeah. the make headquarters at some no. point. We're, we're, again, Atmel's been a big champion of the maker community. I was uh, unabashedly one of the ones that pushed for Atmel to have an official presence at Maker Faire. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's exciting. Yes. So, um, uh, as, as you can see, there's a lot of great stuff happening here, and um, the Atmel booth is a a real embodiment of some of the, the great things we've been looking for. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so uh, much. Appreciate it. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you so and, uh, much. I'll, I will. I'll see you on tour. I will see you. <laughs> I'll see everybody on tour. Thanks a lot.